Hey everyone, this is a question set on square roots in which we'll be solving some word problems. So let us start off with the first question. Sonia's house sits on a plot of land that is a perfect square. The plot measures 961 square feet. What is the length of the property? So it is given that Sonia's plot is of 961 square feet and the plot is a square plot. So the area is 961 square feet. As it is a square, the length of sides would, would be equal. Now we know that the area of a square is equal to side square. So x square is equal to 961. So to find x, we need to take the under root of 961. And that's what is asked. What is the length of the property? So the length of the property is x. So let us find the under root of 961 by division method. So we have 961. We'll have to group it starting from the right hand side into groups of two digits. So we have 0, 9 and 6, 1. Now the number that is closest to 9 when squared is 3. 3 times 3 gives us 9. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. We'll have to add these two 3's. So 3 plus 3 is 6. This 6 is fixed. The 61 can come down. So 6 something times that something should be equal to 61. Well, 61 times 1 is 61. So 61 times 1 is 61. 61 minus 61 is 0. We have a 0 here. So the square root of 961 is equal to 31. Hence, the length of the property is 31. So we have the correct answer as option C. Let us now move on to question number 2. Ruchita plants 15,376 mango trees in her garden. She arranges the trees in a matrix with the same number of rows and columns. How many rows are there? Well, Ruchita arranges the trees in a matrix, which is a square matrix. So let's say she has arranged the trees in a matrix like this, and she has the same number of rows and columns. So let us consider that there are x trees in a column and there are x columns because the number of rows and columns are same as it is a square matrix. So x trees in one column and there are x columns. So the total number of trees present here would be x square. But the total number of trees are given to us which is 15376. So x square is equal to 15376. So to find the number of rows or the number of columns we need to find x. So x is equal to square root of 15376. Let us find the square root of 15376. So we have 15376. Let us group the numbers in digits of 2. Now we can write 1 times 1 is 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. This one and this one needs to be added. So 1 plus 1 is 2 another blank here and a blank here. This 5 3 comes down. 22 times 2 is going to give us 44 which is nearest to 53. So 53 minus 44 is 9. This 76 comes down. We have to add this 2 with this 2. So 22 plus 2 gives us 24 and a blank. So 24 blank multiplied with that blank gives you some number closest to 976. So what is that number that comes in this blank? Well, if we try 244 times 4, I think we would get 976. 244 times 4 gives us 4 4s are 16, 1 carry. 4 4s are 16 plus 1 is 17, again 1 carry. 4 2s are 8 plus 1 is 9. So it gives us exactly 976, which when subtracted with itself gives us 0. So we have the square root right there. So under root of 15376 is equal to 124. Therefore x is equal to 124. So the answer is option C. Let us go ahead with question number 3. We have a storeroom that measures 125 meters by 25 meters. 
and a square carpet when laid covers one fifth of the area of that storeroom. So what is the length of that carpet? Let us draw the storeroom which is rectangular in shape. So it is 125 by 25 meters and we have a square carpet which when laid covers some one fifth of the area of this square room. Well, let us find out the area of the storeroom. Then we can take the one fifth of that to find the area of the carpet. So area of storeroom is equal to length into breadth because it's a rectangle. So 125 times 25. Let us keep it as it is. Then we have the area of square carpet as equal to one fifth of area of storeroom. So the area of storeroom is 125 times 25. So area of carpet is going to get one fifth of 125 times 25. So 5 times 5 is 25. 125 times 5 is going to get 625. So we have the area of carpet as 625. But the carpet is a square carpet. Let us assume that it has the length of side as x. So area of a square is x square. So x is equal to under root of 625. And we all know that under root of 625 is 25. So the length of the carpet is 25 meters. Okay, the last question now. Chand wants to enclose his square garden of 100 square feet with a wired fence. What is the total length of the fence needed? Chand has a square garden of 100 square feet. So this is the square garden of 100 square feet. And he wants to enclose that garden with a wired fence. So let's draw the wired fence here. As the garden is a square garden, the length of the sides would be same. So let us take the length of the side as x. So the total length of the fence needed because there are four sides would be 4x. Now we can find x because we know the area of the square garden. So area is equal to x square but the area is given to us which is 100. So x is equal to under root of 100. Root of 100 is 10. So x is 10 meters. So the total length of the fence needed is 4x. So 4x is equal to 4 times 10 which is 40 meters. This is because there are four sides and one side is of 10 meters. So the total length of the fence needed is 40 meters.